Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Keshav and welcome to this video where we are going to do a little project for 2020, you know, a project where you sort of, no, actually it's not a project for you, it's a project for me, but the project where I'm going to sort of focus on building sustainable, consistent habits, because one of the greatest things that I've learned past year is this focus. Focus is very important. You focus on one thing at a time, one at a time, you work on that thing and you work on that thing long enough so that it becomes some sort of an ingrained repetitive thing that you do. So here's, here's the deal here. I've, 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 uh, di uh, I I've made a podcast, right? Called the checklist project where I detailed out five habits or five rituals that I try to do on a daily basis to sort of save my day from, you know, laziness and procrastination and other crap that I do, right? And I took on this challenge, 47 days, where I'm gonna do all those five things for the next 47 days. The thing was, it was pretty damn hard for me. <laughs> I gave myself zero room for me to fail. It was a great challenge. The thing was, I had other things going on in my life, which didn't allow me to sort of do this thing. That might, that challenge might be for some something else, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick one or two of the, uh, of the five or six habits and work on them one at a time for 2020. Because, right, I've been sort of focused on building not just habits, but also sort of a new identity, which is sort of the missing equation in my habit building process. I'm all about habits. I'm, all, I'm, I'm the habits guy. I'm, I'm always thinking, you know what, if you build good sustainable habits throughout your day, in your day-to-day -day rituals, in your weekly rituals, your 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 behavior and your identity changes you know that batman quote right you're not who you it's it's not who you are underneath it's what you do that defines you right i'm i'm a, I'm a big believer of that quote but it's also it's not just who you are underneath or what you do that defines you who you are underneath also defines what you do so it's like a cyclical thing and uh, so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm going to work out I'm gonna exercise, get into the best shape of my life. That's the goal right here, this larger goal. Because I've always been the sort of the chubby fat kid. Now, I'm not chubby right now. <laughs> what are you thinking? Wait, what? I don't know. I used to be a very chubby kid, like 90 plus kilos. I think that's over 200 pounds. I used to be a very fat kid when I was in school. Sashi Kant, who's filming this video can attest to that. When I joined the first year of college, I was pretty damn fat, Sashi. Yes, that's true. Yes, that's true. See, I was a pretty fat kid. Then I started working out, started exercising, started eating right. Then I lost a bunch of weight. Then people started noticing me because I started to lose a bunch of weight and looked pretty handsome, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, right, over the years, what happened was I took this thing too much, too seriously, right? Then I started binge eating. Then I start, stopped working out consistently. Then I was just hopping around from one thing to another thing, to another thing, to another thing. Uh, this is also uh, one of the reasons I wanna do this challenge, which is to pick one thing, right? One workout program or one particular thing and stick to it for 100 days because I've never done that before. I mean, I have done that once in 2017 and that was it. I didn't do it again. Uh, I have this mentality where I just get bored with something, then I just keep on hopping on to another thing and another thing. And this is called screw around this it's, it's, it's a disease where you just go on and screwing around with one thing after another thing after another thing. So here's the goal of this challenge for me to get into the best shape of my life and that is a vague goal. What does that mean even get into the best shape of my life? Uh, for me, the goal is simple. I'm gonna pick a program, right? An exercise program and stick to an eating plan that I can sort of sustain, right? Something that's sustainable, something that's consistent, that is not too drastic from what I'm already doing. Something that's like a slightly next step further for me. And another reason is I want to get into a better place mentally, right? Mental health wise. Uh, I want to, uh, uh, I'm a, I'm, I used to struggle from anxiety from here and there, you know, just feeling anxious for no apparent reason. So, and all these irrational fears that just comes from time to time. And, uh, and I want to get into a better place in, in terms of my mental health. So 
I'm going to be working out, doing yoga, doing lots of walks, building good, sustainable, tiny habits throughout this process. And I'm going to share the entire journey on Instagram. And uh, yeah, that's the goal of this challenge to work out every day and to eat right. And that's pretty much it. That's those are the two habits, two things. If done right, would radically change the lives of many people. So now let's get into the plan. How are we going to execute it? So here's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to suggest you some things that you can do if you're new to working out, if you're new to exercising, if you want to get fit, if you're an artist, you sit eight hours a day, you draw, then you're, you, you just, you're not in a good shape, but you want to start somewhere. I'm going to, I'm going to give you some tips because I'm going to take my mom along this journey, right? She just got out of her surgery, her second surgery. It's been a thing for us. It's, it's, it is really apparent to us right now that my, we need to get our shit together. It's as simple as that. You, you need to get healthy or this thing is going to happen again and again and again. She got a hernia surgery for the second time and she's very new to exercise she's never exercised consistently ever before in her entire life and uh, you know i'm gonna slowly introduce things to her but she needs to recover from her surgery first so it's gonna take a while but anyways g going off on tangents right here's what i'm gonna do i am going to have a good mix of strength training then doing yoga and walking and you know doing push-ups and doing some sort of daily activity around the day so these are the two things that i'm going to do in terms of my movement my exercise my working out so to be even clear i'm following this uh, program called the kino body warrior shredding program you know it sounds so cringy right <laughs> What is this? A really damn good program. It's, it's all about good focusing on good compound movements, right? And getting your strength up, getting your, you know, this is basically getting stronger. So I want to be stronger because I, I don't want to be a, like a weak guy when I'm 65 with, you know, like losing all my muscle and being very weak because of losing all my muscle. I don't want to be that guy. So I want to, I want to get to a good place. I don't think I'm in a healthy. Uh, body fat percentage I'm, I'm what they call the skinny fat i've been working out for lots of years trust me i've been working out for for a very long time but i've been i, I never looked like it because i never eat right so uh i need to sort of get into a better comp body composition on for the sake of my own health because i'm in a i just tested using a body fat caliper apparently i'm in a very high body fat percentage which is probably not good for you health wise It'd be good for me to fight i need to get better basically you know if i, if I climb up a, a flight of stairs i'm panting for breath these days it's not good it's not good for you so that's what i'm going to do so it's basically three days of working out i'm going to put out the program that i'm going to be following in the description down below so that you can sort of use it or better yet there's something called the minimalist workout program which is you do these bunch of exercises two to three times a week do that it's simple keep it simple that's one other thing that i've learned last year keeping things simple and keeping things to the point so yeah so then on the other days i'm going to walk then i'm going to do yoga right simple uh, i found this wonderful youtuber named sarah beth yoga sarah or sarah i don't know how you pronounce it she has these little 10 15 20 or sometimes 30 minute or even 40 minute yoga sessions right you can get those uh, i just put those things on my tv then just follow that thing so yeah i'm gonna do yoga i'm gonna do walking and so she's sort of gonna cough right now <laughs> nothing <laughs> good <laughs> so yeah this is this is what i'm gonna do on my workout wise right now if you're new to working out if you're new if you don't know where to start i would highly highly recommend this thing called the five minute morning mobility by tom merrick it's a free five minute mobility online which i used to do every single day every single morning i felt really good it really opens up your body it's like sort of like movement stretching flexibility type deal start there work your way up from there and you know slowly add things maybe do uh, add a 10 minute yoga session or go for a 10 minute walk and do it do something that you can sustain big 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 uh 
lesson right here for me right do things that you can sustain i've been already doing something similar i, I work out three times a week with weights then i do yoga then i walk i don't do them consistently but i want to make them consistent right that's the thing right here so guys yeah keep me in check if i switch programs or jump to another program you like dm me and scold me on instagram right i'm gonna i'm gonna have sashi i'm gonna give up i'm gonna write out my program and i'm gonna give it to sashi so so that i make sure i follow it because man i get bored and i just like switch and switch and switch anyways right uh check out this five minute mo morning mobility and uh, check out these uh, 10 minute uh, yoga sessions by Sarah Beth if you're new, right? She's got these beginner yoga videos where you do things for 10 and 15 minutes. She's got even a 30 day, 15 minute yoga challenge where you just do 15 minutes of yoga every day. Start that if you're new, right? And uh, here's another thing that I've been uh, doing, right? I do two push ups every time I pee. <laughs> no, 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 not like in the bathroom, after I pee. <laughs> It sounds, sounds embarrassing, right? Yeah, everybody pees, right? Like, you know, uh, but what I'm doing is every time I get out of the bathroom, I can't drop down and do two push-ups. Best habit I've ever picked up last week. It's amazing. I'm doing a lot of push-ups. I feel really good. And, uh, and I, I, I'm, because of doing that, I'm just like moving around and doing all, all these other things. So if you're interested uh, in tiny habits such as these, check out this guy called BJ Fogg. Uh, a Stanford professor who does research on tiny habits. He's got this five day tiny habits program, which I sort of enrolled into for the sake of fun. And I pick up, picked up three good, really good habits, right? Like doing two push ups and uh, taking my multivitamins every day. And uh, what, what is the other thing? Yeah, meditating for three breaths every morning. Game changing habits right here, right? It's, I don't even think about these things. Like I just do them, right? so good anyways working out that's what i want to do work out three times a week do yoga do walking do these mini little tiny habits to other way i want to document the journey along the process and eating side right uh i'm the guy who counts my calories right people find it pretty freaky you know it's very hard for people for for example if i tell sashi to count his calories he'd be like i won't he won't yeah <laughs> he won't right because he's not used to it I'm used to it. I'm, I've been sort of counting calories. I used to have. I used to have personal trainers. They had me counting calories, weigh my food, uh, as 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 OCD as you think it might be. It's actually very easy. It'll take you less than five minutes a day together to count your calories. Like five minutes to sort of know what you put into your body. It's very good. So I'm gonna eat. Uh, a specific number of calories that is sort of for me I need to sort of get in shape that means I need to eat this uh, 2000 calories or something something like that per day 2000 calories then once a week I go higher eat 2600 calories what I call the refeed days you know sort of like a cheat day no no it's not cheat day I'm not going to call things cheat day because it sort of puts you in a, a wrong mentality of wait you're going off your path no it's part of the program that's what I'm going to do so Goal is this, get into the best shape, of my, best, best shape of my life, right? Then eat right, build a sustainable habit. And, uh, you know, if, if, if you're a man, if you're a woman, uh, doing some sort of strength training or resistance based exercise three to four times a week or even two to four times a week is really, really good for you. I mean, it, 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 in, in, it in, increases your metabolism, right? And uh, then you, your entire body composition completely changes and you'll feel a lot more stronger, less back pain, right? Because we sit a lot and doing some sort of strength training based like based on compound movements like deadlifts and squats and bench press chin-ups push-ups stuff like that you know compound multi-joint movements you do those things you, you basically feel good so those are the things that i'm going to be doing i'm gonna post every day on my instagram stories like day one day two day three day four day five you know that's my that's my goal right here to look good of course that's what this program is for the warrior shredding program right but uh, you know to look good also to feel good 
I'm 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 assuming that the lot of the feeling good part comes gonna is gonna come from that yoga thing, uh, because I've always felt good after a good thirty to forty minutes of yoga. It's like ah, this is so nice, right? So this is what I'm gonna do, and here are some things that I've sort of told myself that I'll do. Radically changing th- something, all of a sudden is gonna take. It's gonna be very hard, right? You want to do something sustainable in the long term. So I've always found it hard to eat certain number of uh, calories. I tend to overeat. I, I still have the old habits of binge eating, right? So here are the, here are some of the tricks that I'm going to be using. One is to have a good breakfast. Get your breakfast right. You get other meals of the day right. It's it's so simple. Um, I I have salads and protein shakes or some something fruits and vegetables for breakfast. I I get that part right. the other two meals are sort of easy for me right so getting my breakfast right using smaller plates which is something that's amazing right this is how you make lasting changes with your habits you make these tiny changes here and there my house uses these big plates that's why everyone sold i'm fat right everyone's over 100 kilos in my house <laughs> i'm the only lucky guy who used to be under kilos but i got really got my health down and I'm like 77 right now right I'm 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 literally changing throwing plates away at my house right now we're going to get these t- tiny small plates that like normal humans eat from right Indians have these big plates man I'm telling you big like what you fill it up this is like crazy uh, even if you eat like two or three servings on the small plate you feel like you filled up If you, if you notice we go to these unlimited buffets right they always have small plates not big ones because they want you to feel like you're eating more but not eating more marketing stuff tricks here and there so get small plates and uh, setting up your working out or habit ritual after a thing that you're already doing in your daily routine right so one of the things that i uh, do right now right i meditate for three breaths every day after i drink my morning water i drink a huge jug of water or something like 3 to 5 glasses every morning i've been doing that for 3 4 years right now or probably 2 or 3 years right now and what i did was i built my meditation habit on top of that so i was like i'm going to meditate for 3 breaths after i drink my morning water then i'm i did the same thing with my multivitamin thing i'm going to take my multivitamins after i eat lunch I eat lunch every day, right? So building these things on top of your existing routine is going to really help. Uh reading material if you're interested in reading about tiny habits and things like that, check out Atomic Habits by James Clear. I'm listening to that audiobook right now. It's pretty damn good. And also check out uh, Mini Habits by Stephen Guys. And also Stein Tiny another book called Tiny Habits by BJ Fogg, the Stanford professor. So these are all like some 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 thing. So the goal is man Da, da, da. Here's the deal: hundred days, get your shit together, work out, eat right, get into the best shape of my life. Then after that, we'll focus on say another habit on checklist project. My goal is build these five consistent habits in my life so that my days are productive and saved, so that I don't have to waste them. Right? You don't have to do everything right. You just have to do a couple of things right. These are my five things that I'm going to get right. And I'm starting off with one, this 2020. So starting January 1st, yes, yeah, starting January 1st, <laughs> do this thing, and yeah, the uh, good luck. We'll, we'll, we'll I'll see you after 100 days or something. I don't know. Look.